Welcome to a new test and teardown video. Here is a Hewlett Packard 87 personal computer. It's from 1982. It was introduced and in 1983 it was uh, replaced by the 87XM model. And um, this one got a really, really sexy CRT. It's a 10 inch super wide CRT. So it's 24 lines and 80 character wide. So it's 400 by 544 pixels. That is the resolution. And um, this one got 128K of RAM. <laughs> so, um, According to HP Museum, this thing cost in 83, $2,495. Um, in today's money, using the inflation uh, calculator, it's $7,726. I can't wait to see if this one works. Here's the rear. So this one came comes of course with an IEEE interface. So I think the whole idea with this computer is to control all sorts of uh, HP instruments for test systems and uh, so on, right? We can, we can plug in some modules, uh, program and memory modules and all sorts of stuff here. I don't have any of them, so that's just uh, bad luck. I don't know if it's able to do anything without these um, software modules and let me see is it yes it is set for the correct voltage uh, these are by the way famous for having a, um, a bad power supply so I will be very very fast and careful when switching this off uh, off and on I will be yeah let's do that quickly and see what so happens I think ready I got my little remote rig over here and it is 40 watts and this is about nominal power by the way I was expecting oh yeah 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 look at that what do you know it is up and running <laughs> Lovely! I've been playing around with this unit for quite a while. I mean, it is just insanely funny to go back in basic mode and write some little basic programs and, you know, remember how to uh, define variables and how to add values to those and print out some values and stuff like that. It's super, super funny. <laughs> and this is the alphanumeric mode. It turns out it was easy to find the manual and now I can also figure out how to write to the graphic memory and you know put pixels and dots and write directly in yeah graphics and all that kind of stuff. It got all those features also in its uh, basic built-in basic program so I kind of totally love this one. <laughs> it's going to be so much fun to play with. But anyway, this is supposed to be a teardown video. So we're going to open this one and have a look how it is really built. So I only find six screws here on the back and that's more or less all I find. So I think this is how to, uh, to open it. Oh, maybe there's also a screw. No, there's no screws in that one. And here it says uh, you have to open this to see some more cool things. Okay, great. Let's do that. So inside the case, you see it's nicely covered with some metal coating for low noise emission. And there's also a really cool glass. It's a little bit dark. And the inside is just fantastic this crt is something whoa look how wide that is i totally love it and there's a 
the, yeah, we see quite a lot of uh, permanent marker notes on all sorts of stuff. And yeah, that's probably some date codes. See, 820602 and some initials. And down here, also 41682. And again, some names and initials. Yeah, it's, it's all over the place. Down here as well. So everything is hand assembled and handwritten. Oh yeah, tons of names and numbers on the circuit boards. So that's of course a power supply. That will be the memory expansion and plug-in module for all the ROM and software modules and all that kind of stuff. That looks also, yeah, this is the CRT, high voltage supply and the whole screen driver and all that kind of stuff. It's of course, it's a magnetic deflection screen. And that is the entire computer is just right here. Ooh, that's delaminated a little bit. That goes to the IEEE and IEEE configurations and all that kind of stuff. That'll be the flat cables to the expansion. Look at that, it's not even a shielded cable. It's just single wires like that. It's probably every second is signal and every second is ground or something like that. Probably not even that, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna have a little look on the hardware here. Just look at this beautiful thing. I just cannot let it go. I'm just totally in love with this one. <laughs> it was fantastic. No, you gotta have a look. So, the six chips you got here, that will be a read-only memory, also called a ROM. And those two chips here, that's a port expansion or uh, port transla uh, translators. They handle the 8-bit multiplexed special uh, port from the CPU. And then they generate addresses and datas and all that for external memory uh, devices so one of them drives the HPIB uh, microcontroller so this one is a special controller handling the uh, Hewlett Packard um, expansion bus and the other one handles the read only memory so that's of course where our basic and uh, external disk drive handling and all that stuff is in here so what you also find, ta-da, down here is the entire computer. And I was so happy to find the schematics hand-drawn. And I mean, it's really made so beautiful. You even have a schematic of the keyboard layout in case you need to uh, figure out how that works. So that will be the keyboard interface chip. And again, it's the same parts that interfaces to a very special kind of serial or multiplexed uh, data and address bus system. And that will be the display uh, memory and uh, display controller. That is, I think, yeah, that one here is the display memory. So all this here is our graphic card, so to speak. And again, there's a memory controller. That tiny little one here, that is the CPU. So that is a 28 pin CPU. And that is all our memory for our program memory. So of course here we have the interface to the ROMs and the external. And down here, the flat cables down here goes to the screen and the power supply. You see down here, there's a flat cable for the power supplies. There are a yeah, few fantastic things about this, uh, this unit here. Mains input goes to a conventional transformer. And then you have a few little 
fantastic things. I think here we got a the first switch mode converter. And here we have of course the graphic high voltage and all that kind of stuff for the CRT. And again, I just love those <laughs> schematics. It is just absolutely fantastic. I want to clean this up a little bit and see if I can get this uh, screen super nice and uh, and clean. Oh uh, yeah, by the way, when you make interconnects from chassis to all this grounds and stuff like that, see the width of this grounding. It's because the wider it is, the less inductance there is in it. And they took this to the absolute maximum. If you look down there, can you see this? Down there, this one here. This is actually a grounding, that one here. It is a grounding cable. It is that wide going all the way here. So it's really, really low inductance going all the way to the power supply. See here how wide it is. <laughs> Somebody told them the wider the better. Okie dokie, you said it. <laughs> oh, that is so, so funny. But why isn't there any ground planes in those flat cables and how the heck are they handling signal integrity on these kind of flat cables? That goes between everything here. <laughs> that is a big mystery to me. But of course it is super, super slow. I mean, it's microseconds. I mean, today we are having nanoseconds or even less than that, right? <laughs> this, this is just so cool. So we found a really funny little program in the manual. <laughs> of course, I'm using another HP product just to hold the paper and I got a little helper here who's he typing in my little program here and hopefully it's gonna do something fantastic so all you have to do now is push the last new line and then you push the right run and then new line like this run and then Ooh. look at that it's making some graphics. And then what? What is it doing? <laughs> that takes forever, huh? Of course, it's running really, really slowly. And then it's erasing something here in the middle. How cool. So some circles. Wow, wow, huh? How is about that? I think that was more or less what I wanted to show you. So thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this little uh, fantastic video. See you around. Bye bye.